Hey guys, Jared from One Up Reviews, and we got another pickup. Now, before I get into the review, I just want to thank all our followers and subscribers. You guys are a massive help. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button, it helps us. And on behalf of myself, Chris, and Jeff, just want to say thank you for all your support. Now, let's get into the review. Now, if you cannot tell who or what trainer we've got, it is from Shaq. AKA Shaquille O'Neal, the most dominant like center to have ever played in the NBA. And we've got a pair of the Shaq Gnosis. Now the last time that these came out, it came out in the original Reebok classic box, which is not like this. Um, it was blue and not, it doesn't have its own branding. This is really cool from Reebok that they gave Shaq his own branding. So you've got the Shaq on the top the box here and Reebok classic on both sides. And we've got this. OG colorway by the way it is the black and white silver metallic shagnosis and we got this in the US size 8, the UK size 7 and 40.5. Let's get opening. Now I know what these look like. These are gonna be like Marmite for some fans. Oh, look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And look at it, it's such an interesting shoe. I love 90s basketball as much as I love Michael Jordan. All the other athletes, they have their great pairs of their own like signature shoes. You have Shaq with Reebok, you have the Shaq Attack, the Shaq Gnosis, Allen Iverson. Come on, questions, great shoe. Uh, Scotty Pippen, Charles Barkley with the CB94s. I can go on, but Shaq, this was worn when he was in the Orlando Magic. It was his first team. Obviously, he would make a bigger name for himself at Lakers with Kobe Bryant. Always in front of rest in peace, Kobe. But we're here to talk about Shaq, and this is so interesting. Like I said, I love the 90s style of basketball. I love 90s style. So this just shouts it with all the exits, you know. With it being so eccentric and with that patterning, looking like a hypnosis circles. So let's start with the outsole. Outsole. So you have two hexalite like pods at the forefront and on the heel. Now that hexalite is rebox like cushioning system that's found in the midsole. It's shaped like honeycombs, and when compressed, it gives you that like um, bounceability your comfort essentially and now pure Reebok fans are going to be upset because they don't look like normal hex light like these are more hexagon color um, colored hexagon shaped and the original hex light is like honeycomb moving up on to the upper so I'm not sure about this midsole if it's uh, polyurethane or if it's an EVA but what I can say is that I know what you're thinking that this looks really heavy you know this was built for a big man like Shaq but with it being so wide that obviously that's for the stability but it's so deceivingly light I cannot tell you how light these are and I'm pretty sure that it's all because of the material of this uh, midsole anyway we we'll go along the upper so you this is a blend of leather and black nubuck which is really great obviously it gives that patterning that shagnosis the hypnosis um style you got the reebok logo right there on the side and it's on the inner there as well if we go along the tongue so you have the dunk man logo which is a great logo second to obviously the jump man logo but this is really dope as it is stitched on as well with the reebok and Dunk Man logo at the heel counter, sorry. And it's all silver. But I'm a bit uh I'm a bit upset because not only with the box, the box came, as I mentioned, is a bit tattered up. But this is a bit frayed. You know, we could get a bit better if I'm paying that 110 pounds for these. But what can I say? I mean I'm just glad I got a pair. And this is really cool to it's really cool to add to the collection I'm like not my 90s basketball trainers even though a lot of it is dominated by my Jordans 
Um, one cool fact about this. Do you know who made this more famous than Shaq himself? Will Smith. Will Smith wore these and graced these. Uh, oh, what was it? No, of course I know. It's Men in Black. He wore these in Men in Black. And I can't wait to try these on, you know, emulate my inner Will Smith. You know, he's got that swag. So I want to try and emulate. And I'll be honest, I mean, as much as I did see Shaq wearing these when I was like two years old when he was in the league, I mostly remember these being worn by Will Smith. And if you don't like Men in Black, how can you not like Will Smith? Men in Black is a great film. With that said, I'm going to show you what these look on. I can't wait to try these on. You can't wait to try these on. You're going to get mesmerized. Let's do it. Forgot to mention guys about this really heavy padded heel support. This is just gonna make your feet nice and snug. So if you were to get these trainers, I'd say get a half size down if you can't get your true to size. But I can really see why Shaq loved wearing these. It's a really comfy insole, soft, and I can honestly see why Will Smith wore these in Men in Black. These are really cool on as well. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us at Instagram with one up at one up reviews with a Z at the end. Till next time, peace.